Do you have a virtual assistant such as Alexa to help you make your life easier at home? Are you the proud owner of a smart car which takes care of all of the extra logistical troubles when driving? You're probably not aware that these are two examples of what we refer to as the Internet of Things. Essentially, it's any kind of technology that is connected to the Internet which provides a better experience for consumers. Smart lighting, smart irrigation, smart locks, motion detectors, you name it. The list of Internet of Things technologies is endless. And you probably come across it, but you never really gave it any thought. Internet of Things affects our personal life but it's fast becoming an essential part of modern businesses. Companies from across multiple sectors of our economy all make use of some sort of Internet of Things. It works through an ecosystem, a network if you like, of connected and independent technologies that are applied by specialists towards a specific goal. The faculty of ICT at the University of Malta is carrying out a research project specifically on Internet of Things. The research will focus on easing the burden of Internet of Things devices through the development of high programming abstractions, bridging the resource gap and facilitating ease of lab testing. Um, welcome to the faculty of ICT at the University of Malta. I am Professor Carl De Bono, the Dean of the Faculty of ICT. And the Faculty of ICT prepares students right, for the workforce of tomorrow in various areas, right, including the Internet of Things, where within our courses, students learn um, how to develop new sensors up to um, the whole chain right, for applications of IoTs in different areas. Hello, I am Dr. Conrad III, Deputy Dean and uh, Chair of the new Masters in Digital Health, uh, which is uh, collaboration between the Health Science and the Faculty of ICT. I am also the lead researcher in PEM, Pervasive Electronic Monitoring, which makes use of IoT to be able to understand human activities. We particularly chose a very challenging environment, the elderly and dementia. We try to learn more about people with dementia by using sensors, uh, physical, the physiological aspect, the activity, the ability to understand the, the activity an individual is doing, like standing up, lying down, and also falling. In fact, our research focuses on the ability to predict the possibility of people with dementia or elderly when falling. We know statistically that is one of the most challenging and most expensive related uh, challenges for the elderly, which affects the quality of life with people that uh, are diagnosed with dementia. And we also use IoT for the environment. We need to understand and learn more about it. IoT is, is an opportunity not only to see an individual and learn about an individual, but a group of people and how the group of people interact with various environments. So using sensors, wearable devices, and also the environments around, uh, the sensors give us information about this. But when we're speaking of elderly, particularly people which uh, are with dementia, that becomes a bit more complex. We just don't only want to monitor them, but we want to know more about what will happen next. We collect a lot, a lot of data, it's never enough. So in our labs, we create simulations. And as you can imagine, we can't do the simulations with the elderly because of their situation. So we use healthy people, which wear simulation suits that feel old with the limitations of people might uh, have. And then through our data sets, we process them in such a way using AI algorithms to make good use of them for the particular the target or niche we are investigating. A lot of people participate in such environments because we would like to make use of their knowledge. IoT by itself is a tool, but with you use of different professionals like the members which are part of this research group. We have doctors, nurses, uh, occupation therapists, physiotherapists, so many people working hand in hand with us and uh, international teams. We are combining all this knowledge together, enhancing IoT preparing for the next devices, so we try to work independently of the devices we have today because we are sure that next year we're going to find smaller devices, devices which are unobtrusive 
and better off for people that would, li would like to use it. Visit us on PEM.space so that you can volunteer and be part of this research and this exciting world of IoT.